So if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you'll be well aware of my obsession with first act double cut guitars. And you'll also have got a pretty good idea for just how rare they are and how expensive they can be when they do turn up. Well, what if I told you there was an incredible custom shop on the west coast of Canada that was bringing the design back from the dead? Want to know more? Well, stick around because we're going to talk all about it. And we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So this is the Woodbine Warlord. Now Woodbine Guitars is a small group of luthiers running a custom shop out of the west coast of Canada in Vancouver, British Columbia. These guys got their start in 2015, kind of frustrated with where quality had gone and innovation had gone with some of the bigger manufacturing companies in the guitar industry. And they really set out to use the construction techniques and craftsmanship that vintage guitars are known for while applying modern manufacturing techniques to produce an instrument that is of higher accuracy and better consistency than you might have found in the days of old. And so Woodbine Guitars has had their instruments in the hands of some really awesome national touring acts within the stoner doom genre, including Brent Hines and Bill Kelleher of Mastodon and Just Oborn of Electric Wizard. And now getting into this Warlord itself, one of the really neat things about this guitar is I actually got to collaborate with these guys on the design. Because the First Act Custom Shop guitars are so exceedingly rare, they didn't have a great place to go for measurements when it came to designing the body shape and making sure they got all the little details correct. And so we spent a lot of time going back and forth with measurements and videos and pictures from my First Act Double Cut, uh, trying to get a lot of the details exactly correct when it came to the body shape and the beveling and so the guys at Woodbine Guitars took that initial design and really managed to improve on it as far as I'm concerned now I've owned four first act custom shop double cut guitars so I feel like I have a pretty good idea for what they felt like and how they played and uh, we can talk about this guitar and get an idea of what the improvements are so the initial specs, this one was built at 24 and 3 quarter scale length, so your typical Gibson scale length. Uh, it has a medium C neck profile that measures 0.8 inches at the first fret and 0.875 inches at the 12th fret. It is an inch and 11 sixteenths nut width. One of the really awesome things about the necks on these guitars is they are one single piece of wood, so no scarf joint, uh, no ears. It's just a single slab of wood, which makes it significantly stronger than your typical Gibson neck and much, much less prone to failure if the guitar were ever to fall over. We've got 22 frets on this one, an ebony fingerboard with an ebony headstock overlay. Looks really sharp. The inlays on this thing are true mother of pearl and they just look extremely classy. And so construction wise, these things are a lot like a Les Paul. And this is where they've done some really nice things to improve on the first act, I believe. First up being the control layout is like a Les Paul with the toggle switch up at the top. And you've got the traditional two volume tune tone layout that you'd find on a Les Paul. This one has a tunematic style bridge, all chrome hardware. It has a set of lace divinator pickups in it. They sound really good. One of the really nice things about the woodbine, when you compare it to a first act, is the size of the neck heel. Uh, as you can see, the heel on the first act is incredibly chunky, making it very difficult to access those upper frets, where the heel on the woodbine is much more like a Les Paul and just feels a lot more comfortable in the hand when you're up at those upper registers. In addition, the fretboard on the woodbine sits directly on the body whereas the fretboard on my first act is seems to be shimmed up ever so slightly. Again, it just results in a really chunky heel as compared to this woodbine, which is much more like a Les Paul. Now, of course, typical of a Les Paul, the body and neck are both mahogany, and you've got a maple cap. 
Now again, the arch on the top of this woodbine is more similar to what you'd find on a Les Paul with the first stack being slightly more flat. Uh, and that allows them to sit that fretboard right on the body. Now, one of the things people typically don't get correct when trying to copy these older first act guitars is the bevels in the horn area. And you can see these ones are done perfect. If I was playing this guitar and you handed it to me, owning four first act double cuts, I certainly would not know that this was not a first act. It just plays incredible, sounds incredible. Like I said, I love the control layout. Love the neck heel, just feels a little better. The 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length is really comfortable to me. Now, of course, this is a custom shop guitar, so you can specify exactly what you'd like in terms of finish options, hardware color, control layout, fretboard woods, inlays, binding. You can have a bound headstock, bound neck, bound body, front or back. Uh, they offer the works. Uh, typically, they run about 3,200 to 3,800 US dollars and that's to have your guitar built to order. So if you'd like to spec out a warlord of your very own from the Woodbine Custom Shop, you can hit them up at info at woodbineguitars.com. Uh, talk to those guys, let them know you watched this video, and I'm sure they'd be able to hook you up with a quote. Now, unfortunately for me, but fortunately for all of you, this is actually not my guitar. This is their prototype number one, and they are selling it right now on Reverb, if you'd like to check it out, you can hit the link directly below this video and get your hands on this absolutely badass Woodbine Warlord at what is probably a slightly discounted price over what you'd have to pay if you spec'd one out from the custom shop directly. And so enough of my rambling, let's play this thing so you can hear how awesome it sounds. <laughs> send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon. With a very special thank you to all of our Rift Lord tier producers. Uh, if you want to see more content just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking that round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is yours.